Hi everyone, it's Fitz with the Daily Delivery. It's not a great one if you're a K-Stater, but it's still a delivery done on a daily basis that counts. Hey, remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the thumbs up, leave those comments, turn on the alerts. Another great session of the Insiders on Monday. Had a couple hundred people watching live and more than a thousand have watched it since then. The Insiders, every Monday at 1.30 and also uh, our cat pregame podcast coming up, the questions podcast coming up, Friday walkthroughs coming up. It's a huge week in K-State sports. Enjoy, but today I got bad news. And you probably already know this, but Naquan Tomlin, the senior forward for the Kansas State Wildcats basketball program, has been suspended indefinitely by Coach Jerome Tang. And this is really Coach Tang's first need to be, you know, publicly disciplining a player following an incident late night Saturday, early Sunday morning in Aggieville. I'm telling you, you got to be careful in Aggieville after midnight uh, when Tomlin was arrested for assault and battery. Details are still a little bit unknown, uh, but it doesn't sound great. And Coach Tang is properly waiting to vet the incident and find out exactly what the details are. Uh, and until then, he's suspended. Does that mean he'll play in Las Vegas? My guess is no, this won't be cleared up by the time Kansas State opens its schedule on Monday night in Las Vegas against USC, and that's a serious blow for the Wildcats. Naquan Tomlin may not be considered the best player on the team this season, but he is probably the most important returning player to go with newcomers Tyler Perry and Arthur Kaluma. And having him on the sideline certainly changes the way K-State can play because Tomlin is an open court freak of an athlete that plays above the rim and attacks the basket. He sets a tone for this team. He did it last year on the Elite Eight run and he's expected to do it again this year if he plays. So something else was going on with Naquan Tomlin in recent weeks. We still don't know the details for sure. I've heard plenty of rumors, but I have nothing to properly source it to report on what it was. And I'll say this, the coaches pushed back at any uh, reporting of this incident, and I didn't have the details to report it. But I don't know what the incident was. If it involves an agent, involves something uh, of that nature, I think it did involve something with the NCAA. They were seeking clarification, and it just got cleared up. So why not go to Aggieville and celebrate and get into trouble? It's unfortunate, but these players have to remember that even though they're in a small town, there's less trouble. But when you do find trouble, you're in a small town and everyone knows it. And that arrest report, the entire criminal activity report from Saturday night after a football game in Manhattan, Kansas, there were two arrests. That's all. One was Naquan Tomlin. Now, it's a small pond, but when you're a big fish, you stick out. You got to take care of your business, good and bad. And now, unfortunately for Jerome Tang, he has business to take care of.